computer science videos hey today to show you guys in this tutorial how to upload an entire photos library to Google Drive on a Mac computer without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to a Mac computer and account for Google and access to photos within the photo application on a Mac we can now start the tutorial before i start the tutorial i would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel computer science videos as we know every problem is solved by indirection you can also follow my twitter account we are trying to grow as fast as ever i'm on tiktok we post videos here and there follow my page on facebook i'm also on instagram you are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So now let's go around to the dock. Go to Launchpad. Go to the alternative web browser, which is Google Chrome in this case. Click on this way for that to load. Once it is loaded, let's go to the top right corner. Go to Applications and then go to Google Drive. Click on this way for that to load. We now want to minimize Google Chrome for the moment. Go all the way around to the dock. Go to photos and now we want to export the entire library of photos and videos that we have so we want to make sure that we have selected library go within library command a to highlight all the content go to file and then go to export the amount of items that you have on your machine click on this and this will then bring up another prompt that allows you to select the photo kind, the quality, the color profile, the size, the movie quality, and so on. Let's now click on export. This will then take us to another prompt where we can create a brand new folder and call this photos, create, and this should now export into the folder. We can see on top that this itself is exporting. I will take time depending on the amount of exporting that is required to be done. So what I will do is fast forward this video from zero to a hundred in terms of exporting the content. And so once the export has completed, we can minimize photos for the moment. Go to the desktop, click on that photos folder that has been created. Increase the size of the finder window. Change the view type. And then we had all the catalog from the beginning to now. Exported and ready for file upload to Google Drive. So let's now quit Finder. Go all the way down to the dock. Again, go back to Google Chrome. Let's now create a brand new folder and call this folder Photos. Create. Let's now go within that folder. Let's now decrease the size of the Google Chrome window. Before we click and then drag and drop, the best thing to do now would be to highlight the Photos folder, right click and then compress to a zip file to help speed up the process of uploading to Google Drive. That's because, let's just say we upload the Photos folder that consists of 2.6 gigabytes of information. That may take an hour or so to upload. And so here's the best way, compress the zip, upload the zip. That will be uploaded in very quick time. So we already almost halfway through the process of compressing to a zip. Let's now fast forward this also. 
Once this is done, we'll come back and then we will upload the zip file to my Google Drive. Photos.zip on the desktop, drag and drop to Google Drive. we can now see that the photos.zip file has been uploaded to Google Drive. If I were to let's just say now click into this, couldn't preview the file, you may be offline or with limited connectivity, try downloading instead. We can download this or what we can do is also have these third party applications such as Zip Extractor, Extract, Authorize Zip Extractor, Continue, select all, continue, and this would then extract the full file within Google Drive, which is now occurring on screen. So let's just wait for this to open up on screen. We can now see that the zip file has been extracted via zip extractor within Google Drive. We can extract a drive. This may also take some time. Once we have completed the extraction of the zip file within Google Drive, we can go within that folder to access all the information on screen and there we have it. So let's now quit Google Chrome. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for computer science videos from the start until now.